guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91. I'm talking about E3. That's right, E3. Now, remember how E3 was canceled last year? Because, obviously, for obvious reasons, I don't have to go into that. But this year, they are doing E3. There's no live show, but they're doing it in a virtual way. Now, at first, I thought, I wonder how they're going to get companies. But they already got companies. They already got Nintendo, Xbox, Warner Brothers, Coach Media. Hopefully, I've that, right? Ubisoft and Take-Two. They're already going to be in the show in some capacity, right? But here's the thing. I'm wondering why, especially for Nintendo and Xbox. See, to me, couldn't Nintendo and Xbox just do their own like digital thing, like a Nintendo Direct or an Xbox Game Showcase around the same time E3 happens? I mean, these companies are big enough, I think, that if they did their own live stream, many would watch. They, I don't think they really need the publicity that E3 brings, unless it's a live show, of course. A live show, I think that's beneficial. But this digital show, I'm not sure. But in any case, they're already going to be there in some capacity. So it's going to be interesting, I think, because I do agree with Spawnwave. Spawnwave was saying something along the lines. I'm not going to say exactly what he said. I'm going to paraphrase. But basically that he enjoyed having, I think he said all, but I'm going to say like a good chunk of the gaming news happen in like a very short period. And I agree with that basically because I do enjoy E3. I do enjoy the fact that E3 has a huge amount of gaming news and it happens like one right after the other. Yeah, because not sporadic, especially for us YouTubers, I believe it's fun to be able to just talk about all this news that is happening so quickly over like the three day period. So while I do enjoy E3 and I'm glad that it's coming back in a digital form, I'm still wondering exactly what type of like incentive they may be giving like these companies. Cause I'm pretty sure, I don't know, they, they didn't say, I'm pretty sure these companies have to pay for spot time during the digital show. In any case, what do you guys think about E3 being a digital show this year? And how do you think they're going to do it? Like, will it basically just be press conferences? Or do you think they'll have stuff like devs playing their games? Like, maybe they'll have just them playing a level or something like that so that they could show a good amount of gameplay off as well? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.